Hey, this is Eric Sloof over at AntiPro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you the new enhanced Vmotion with local storage instead of shared storage. First, let's log on to the vCenter appliance. Uh, I'm using a new MacBook Pro. I'm also using new recording software. I'm still giving it uh, a tryout. And uh, I'm also very not really familiar with the web client. So. Uh, let's take a look if I'm able to migrate a virtual machine from one ESX host to the other. First of all, I've created uh, four nested ESX hosts. Those hosts are right here. And on one of those hosts, virtual machine one is running. And virtual machine one is stored on local storage. Let's take a look at virtual machine one. And uh, it's stored on local storage, data stores. It's running on, uh, on data store one on this particular ESX02 host and I want to migrate it from, uh, from, from this host to another host uh, I think I'm going to migrate it from ESX02 to ESX01 so let's take a look if I'm able to migrate this virtual machine 1 actions let's wait a while until we see all the vCenter actions here it is migrate so I'm going to change both host and data store and I'm going to place the virtual machine in the NT Pro cluster that's right within the cluster there are three ESX hosts available and I'm going to migrate it to ESX01 uh, compatibility checks succeeded and the there's no storage profile configured, storage profiles are not running. I hope there is enough space left on data store one, but there isn't. So let's try another host. I don't know if this one has local storage. Yes, it does. Let's see if there is enough space left. There is enough space left. But this host is designated as an HA fill over host whatever let's proceed and let's migrate this virtual machine from ESX02 to ESX03 with enhanced vMotion without shared storage there it goes VM1 right here it's going pretty fast because the traffic stays within the virtual environment so what happens is that first uh, a storage vMotion migration is initiated and there is a special, a special component in the kernel that tracks down all the, the changes during the vMotion migration and changes are written both in the source and destination disk and when the vMotion migration is completed uh, a normal vMotion, uh, the uh, storage vMotion migration is completed the, the normal vMotion migration will take place and then the memory of the virtual machine is transferred from one host to the other and then you have actually used two technologies that were already available within vSphere, storage vMotion and vMotion and together they are able to migrate a virtual machine to another host so let's take a look at uh, the summary of this virtual machine and let's take a look at which host it is running now it's running at uh, ESX03 and before we migrated it, it was running on ESX02. So the enhanced vMotion migration is successful. Eric Sloof is signing off. Bye bye.